What up guys, let me tell you a little story about how I got scammed. Now the fact that I got scammed is pretty ironic, seeing as that a few days ago I actually made a scam warning video, warning people about all the possible scams there are out there using my name, but it happened to me. I never thought it would ever happen to me, but it definitely happened to me. So I get an ad on Steam from this guy called Nico. Now I'm thinking, who the hell is this Nico guy? And uh, I've got about 13 or so mutual friends, and if I tend to have a lot of mutual friends with a person, it normally means, you know, they're a good trusted individual. So I accepted him. I looked at his Steam profile, and he was from a YouTube channel called Corridor Digital. Now I looked it up, I hadn't actually heard of them before, but it was a massive YouTube channel, you know, doing really well, and they just started to be playing CSGO and doing some other the cool things. I also checked out his Steam profile wall and he had lots of comments from other YouTubers. I'm not going to name any in particular but there was a comment saying hey dude I love your videos you know like I thought wow this guy's got to be legit like he's got to be making good videos and you know this guy's the real deal. Over the course of a couple of weeks we got talking and I was like how do I know you and then he was like oh you don't really know me but we got lots of mutual friends and I'm from Corridor Digital all this type of stuff. You know we had some good conversations uh, apparently he was friends with Freddie Wong and Brandon those type of guys which actually the Corridor or digital channel is related to. He talked about his job for a long while and uh, we basically got to know each other a little bit and he was gaining my trust all this time. A few weeks into our friendship he asks if he can actually borrow a knife. He asked if he could borrow some kind of low tierish knife like a burial forest or something like that just to kind of show off on the channel and make uh, make all his other friends that he was playing CSGO with jealous. At first I was like no sorry dude all the knives I have are for the giveaway and I'm gonna need them real soon for that giveaway so I can't do that. Then I thought about for a while and I thought, ah, this guy's trusted, you know, he'll give me back the knife, it's all good. So I sent him a trade offer for the Karambit Slaughter that was meant to be in the 1.2 million giveaway. He thanked me a lot and we didn't speak for a while. Then I drew the results of the giveaway and I thought, hey, where's that Karambit Slaughter gone? I'm gonna need that back off Nico from Corridor Digital. So I tried to find him on my Steam friend list. He had changed his name, he had removed me, and he had blocked me. I was trusting enough to give him this knife just to borrow. He said he'd give it back when the giveaway was drawn. I still had lots of mutual friends in common with this guy, for example, Trilux and Retchy and Warrell and lots of other big YouTubers. So I asked them to message him and obviously he blocked and removed all of them as well. So that's pretty much the story, guys, of uh, how I lost the Karambit Slaughter for the giveaway. Don't be too trusting. Obviously, this is my mistake, and I'm pretty gutted. It wasn't even my knife. It was for all of you, and that's what really, you know, I wouldn't be that bothered. If it was my knife, you know, I'd accept responsibility, and I'd just be like, you know, say la vie, I'm moving on. But it was for you guys, and that's what really pisses me off. It really, really pisses me off about the whole situation. So I'm going to give you guys two more knives. I have a Statrak dot plug gut knife, and I have a Statrak Tiger Tooth gut knife as well. I'm going to give them both to you. I don't know how. Um, I'll think of some kind of way if somebody can suggest in the comments or something like that. But yeah, I'm really upset this happened. I'll leave the guy's uh, profile down in the description below. It just shows that literally no matter who you are, you can always be scammed by, you know, an impersonator or just never be too trusting. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little story about how I got scammed. A big YouTuber got scammed knives, you know. This happens literally on a daily basis. People send me trade offers like every single day with like ridiculous scams and I never ever fall for it. But this one time I slipped up and I paid the price. Hopefully you guys won't fall for the same thing or anything like that. Always, always be careful. Leave some suggestions in the comments if you can about how I can get these two knives to you and uh, I'll leave the guys profile if you want to check out maybe report him for me that would be fantastic and I will see you guys in the next video peace